Tonight, the cryptocurrency world is reeling after the meltdown of one of its most popular trading platforms. An FTX unit, this is a crypto exchange that collapsed. So it's a big day for FTX. This is the very first hearing in the biggest crypto bankruptcy case yet. The cryptocurrency market suffered from immense losses in the past week. The bankruptcy of FTX sent crashing waves across all cryptocurrencies with no exceptions. Now that we're in the middle of the crash, some cryptos are looking risky to own. This is especially true for Solana, which had a close relationship with FTX and Alameda. Will Solana crash because of FTX? What's the relationship between Solana and FTX? Welcome to Crypto's Ginny, and if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you wouldn't miss out on new updates in the world of crypto investing. Perhaps the most severely affected cryptocurrency throughout this week's FTX crash has been Solana. While it's simple to claim that Solana was just caught in the crossfire, the truth is that the network itself was already facing serious problems. TVL metrics and NFT purchasers have plunged to new lows. While the average drop in prices was around 20% in the crypto market, Solana prices lost more than 60% in the past 10 days alone. According to a leaked copy of Alameda Research's financial sheet, Sam Bankman-Fried, the creator of FTX, had a Solana holding of more than $1.1 billion. After Binance founder Chengpeng Zhao CZ, learned that Alameda Research held a sizable holding in FTX token, there was sell pressure on FTT, and Alameda was obliged to defend its FTT position by liquidating other assets, including Solana. Since FTX is based on Solana's blockchain and Bankman Freed was an investor and quite optimistic on the token in August, Solana and FTX do have a history. Looking at the technical chart of Solana, we can see some room for a further price decrease. This should lead Solana price to reach the strong support of around $10. From there, the crypto market needs to confirm a reversal for the short term or even a consolidation. However, a reversal is less likely to happen, especially before 2023. Most analysts predict that it'll take the crypto market months and even a few years to recover. The FTX crash was a harsh one for most cryptos, and especially for Sol, which crashed by more than 60%. If the $10 price is breached lower, we can easily see the $8 and $5 on the horizon as well. Key founders of the blockchain network are attempting to salvage fading enthusiasm around the space as the ecosystem suddenly finds itself embroiled in crisis. Solana co-founder Anatoly Yakovenko tweeted, We launched in 2020 after markets crashed and the world went into lockdown. Chewing glass is in our DNA, and we'll get through together. The tweet echoed comments made at last weekend's Solana Breakpoint conference while highlighting Solana's recent and upcoming technical improvements. During an appearance last month on Decrypt's Yem podcast, Yakovenko said that he expected this year's Breakpoint conference to have a different tone than in 2021, when Sol's price was skyrocketing. Ultimately, Breakpoint brought a number of major announcements and Sol rose early during the event, but shed those gains ahead of the FTX bombshell. The bleeding hasn't stopped. No cryptocurrency in the top 100, ranked by market cap, has lost more value this week outside of FTT, which has shed 91% amid confirmation of an FTX liquidity crisis. Binance said Tuesday that it had signed a non-binding letter of intent to acquire FTX, but today revealed that it would not complete the deal due to the extent of FTX's financial problems. Raj Gokul, another Solana co-founder, described the FTX fallout as a crucible moment for the ecosystem that is as difficult as the last one. The difference is there are 10x more of us to band together this time. Next time, there will be 10 times more, Gokul suggested. Each time, we're stronger. The fundamentals are better. Same goes for crypto at large. Solana has now shed 95% of its value since reaching an all-time high price of $260, this time almost exactly one year ago, when the wider crypto market was hot. This week's downturn follows months of wider market struggles and macroeconomic pain, and the FTX fallout 
appears to be taking a toll on builders and investors alike. FTX and founder and CEO Sam Bankman-Fried, or SBF, had long been associated with Solana, having invested in the project through his Alameda research company. SBF, a billionaire before the FTX collapse, also once famously pledged to buy an investor's entire stash of Sol when it was still only priced at $3 per coin. Yakovenko tweeted that Solana Labs, the U.S. company that represents the founders and core builders behind the network, had no exposure to FTX. He added that the company's funds are held in dollars and that tons of runway, about 30 months' worth based on current burn rate. Learned our lessons in 2018, he added, alluding to that year's crypto market crash. Still, Solana's well-known link to FTX and its founder appears to be accelerating its downturn and the damage could quickly accelerate. Over 56.3 million Sol, about $729 million worth at present, is currently said to be unlocked from staking this period, and a large amount could be dumped onto the market, driving the price down even further. Although key players in the space, such as top marketplace Magic Eden, are attempting to motivate and unite builders with positive tweets and affirmations, there's a lot of uncertainty and fear spreading across the ecosystem. Some are even considering a move away from Solana. Frank, the pseudonymous creator behind two of Solana's biggest NFT projects, DeGods and Y00TS, tweeted recently that he was looking into bridging his collections over to Ethereum. He was quickly criticized by other builders and collectors in the Solana space and ultimately deleted the tweets, but said that his NFT holders have been asking for such a move. Sol's price has only tanked further since then especially since Binance revealed this afternoon that it would not rescue FTX. The situation may get even worse before it gets any better, based on the impending staking unlock, but Solana leaders are working to maintain hope amongst users and contributors amid a tumultuous situation. If you take a long-term view of Solana, it's hard not to be impressed with all the positive momentum happening right now. Solana continues to launch new strategic initiatives, such as Solana Pay and Solana Mobile. It continues to partner with great companies, such as Google. And it continues to gain market share in key areas, such as the non-fungible token, NFT market. Yes, Solana has suffered a huge setback. But if you understand the full backstory behind Solana and FTX, then it's a lot easier to see what's going on here. Solana was simply collateral damage in what some are describing as an attempted hostile takeover of FTX. The underlying metrics and fundamentals for Solana have not changed. Only investor perceptions have. For that reason, investors can still bullish on the long-term prospects for Solana. Hope you enjoyed watching our latest video. While you are still here, please go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen. Also, check out our website and Twitter. Links in the description. Thank you for watching.